So Lucario and Sword and Shield, I think, has low key, and I didn't realize this, but it has some of the best move diversity that I've seen in almost any Pokemon. But he has 70 attack and 70 defense, which isn't great, but they can help him. They can help him survive some like weaker hits. And he also has 110. This is what makes him, I think, good. Is he has 110 attack and 115 special attack, which is really good because you don't know which Lucario you're gonna get, whether physical or special. Uh, the 90 speed kind of sucks because it's kind of low for someone that frail, but there are ways around it. Also, his abilities are steadfast, inner focus, and justified. I don't think justified is not that great unless you're switching in on a dark move or you're doing something in doubles with dark. Uh, steadfast is, I think, his best ability if you're running physical is inner focus. If you're running special, I think steadfast because I think the speed's more important. Also, the fact that inner focus now in Sword and Shield is immune to intimidate, it makes him immune to intimidate. It's really good. It didn't used to be like that, but that makes I think inner focus better for physical, just because you don't have to worry about intimidate. But also, fighting still is a good typing. I want to say it's a decent typing. But this is one way. I think Lucario's biggest weakness though is just the fact that he has 90 speed. But if you can get some speed into him, like because he's not. He's not going to one shot and at the same time he's not going to outspeed so he's in he's stuck in a weird middle ground of like he's stuck in a weird middle ground of he needs speed i think if you baton pass speed into him he'll be fine but like if not he's he's he can get outsped in one shot or he's just in a weird spot i think he's good at like breaking tanks the fact that he still kind of sucks a little bit because of ground types but it's it's because of ground and fire but he's really good at that aura sphere psychic uh aura sphere and flash cannon for the stab psychic and shadow ball are really good coverage to go along for a physical or a special one uh, i think life orb is really good if you want you can scarf i would say the only thing with scarf is if that the only thing is scarf if you're gonna scarf i think you might as well run the um what is it called? The steel nuke move? I forgot what it's called. Where is it? It's like steel can't. You might as well run steel beam. Because steel beam is just better, honestly. If you're going to if you're gonna run a scarf or something, you might as well run steel beam. There's no reason not to. Because you're gonna be stuck in a one move anyway. You might as well be at nuke. Uh, also if you're scarf, you might as well go. Um, yeah, you might as well go, I think, special attack. I think you'll outspeed anything that's not Dragapult. I think you'll outspeed Barrascuta still. But I think it's better at that point. Um, or Sash, I think, is really good. But other than that, I don't really think any other item's that good. Between, I think, and if you're running Lucario, you need to run either Life Orb, Focus Sash, or a Scarf. I don't think it's worth running a, I don't, he's not fast enough to use a Band or a spe or Band or Specs. But I would say either Scarf, Sash, or Life Orb, depending on what you want to do. Those are the three go-to items for him. But that's special. That's what I would run as special. But there's so many options. Like you could run Dark Pulse, Dragon Pulse, or Steel Beam. The only thing with Steel Beam is you lose so much health that you're guaranteed. If they hit you when you use Steel Beam, you're going to faint. But Steel Beam could be really good like Fairy Killer if they've already taken some damage. It could be a good finisher. Focus Village does more damage than Aura Sphere, but at the same time... You have 70 accuracy, so it's very high risk, high reward type thing. Because if you miss, you're kind of screwed. Um, but yeah, and then physical Lucario. I like this as physical Lucario, but he has so much. He has so many moves he can use as physical. Again, the item, whatever, scarf or sash or life orb. If you give him, if you give him speed, I would say life orb's the best. I wouldn't I would say life orb is best if you give him speed just for the extra damage because you're already out speeding but also also with physical I would say if you're running special you always run steadfast there's no real reason to run air focus unless you're sashed because if you're not like if you have life orb and they hit you they hit you with fake out or whatever and your steadfast activates or whatever that's really that will give you the plus one which is pretty much the same as a scarf but better uh justified I would never really run justified to me it's not that i don't know unless you're 
going to like go out of your way to predict like a grim snarl like i don't even know a like, grim snarl would run sucker punch most of the time unless you can predict a physical move or a dark move i wouldn't really run justified but at the same time steadfast and justified are like the same thing where it's like you're gonna have to go out of your way to get it but justified you'll get justified more than steadfast just because there are more moves that other than fake out there's no guarantee that you'll get steadfast but justified you can leverage that a little bit if you have a psychic type and you switch into them you'd get it uh but i would also say inner focus is really good for a physical one just the just to be immune to intimidate so i would run inner focus most of the time for physical but pretty much blaze kick is really good for coverage and high crit ratio the tension percent chance to burn doesn't really matter close combat is an, just a great move and you're so frail anyway it doesn't matter the defense drop meteor mash is really good 90 power the 90 accuracy kind of sucks i think this kind of sucks is it better than yeah it's same as blaze kick it kind of sucks but it has a chance to raise your attack which is really good especially if you ko off of it and then earthquake's just a really good move just and great coverage but like lucario gets so many physical moves like it's crazy like he also gets brick br like brick break is i would never really run brick break i would say close combat is close combat or high jump kick are the guaranteed physical moves i wouldn't really run brick break unless you want to like just destroy screens but he also gets crunch which is really good and extreme speed which is priority which other than like fake out extreme speed always goes first which is really good. Like, I think even Extreme Speed goes before Prankster. So that's really good. But he gets a lot. He gets a, even more moves. More physical moves that are really good. Uh, Bone Rush. I wouldn't really run Bone Rush ever. Because you'll need all five hits to do more damage than Earthquake. Which is eh. Bone Rush is good to break sashes and stuff though. But I still wouldn't really use it. Uh, he also learns Dual Chop. Which is decent Dragon. Which is Dragon coverage. But chance to miss it does pretty much the same damage as dragon claw but with a chance to miss and it breaks sashes drain punch he's too frail there's no reason to run dig over earthquake really especially if somebody else is running earthquake it just screws you over uh ice punch for when the dlc comes out and like guard chomp and them get introduced ice punch will get way better iron tail is high risk high reward <laughs> again like with focus blast because 75 accuracy it's not worth it iron tail to me is never worth it for 10 extra damage you have what 15 less accuracy that's not worth it to me and it doesn't have a chance to raise your attack that's not worth it to me at all uh he also gets poison jab which is really good poison jab is a fairy well he's also steel that's the only thing with poison jab is that he's also steel but for the steel types that where i feel like i think there are fairies that resist steel don't quote me on that for any fairy types that resist steel or whatever poison jab is good I don't know if there is any actually but poison jab is also another option uh he also gets rock slide which is really good for flying somebody switched into a flying between rock slide thunder punch and zen headbutt those are actually really good and shadow shadow claw uh i would probably run thunder punch over rock slide just for the i don't know rock slide is really good against like charizard but thunder punch has the thunder punch has 100 percent accuracy so it's also good shadow claw and Zen Headbutter just more coverage that like shows Lucario gets a lot of physical moves. So it's up to you what you want. I would say though, Close Combat and Meteor Mash are a must for the Stab and the Fairy, the Anti-Fairy. Because Close Combat, you could also run Crunch. I think Crunch would be really good. I think Crunch would be really good. Probably instead of Blaze Kick. Blaze Kick also destroys Ferrothorn. But I think you would have to, I think Crunch was really good for Ghost types. I don't know, Earthquake just has great coverage. I don't know, it's up to you, but I think Close Combat and Meteor Mash pretty much have to stay because they're great. Stab, they do a ton of damage. Uh, also, between High Jump Kick and Close Combat, High Jump Kick actually does 10 more damage, but it has the chance to miss. And if they switch to a Ghost type, you pretty much KO yourself if they can outplay you on the High Jump Kick. So I don't like having High Jump Kick as the only move, and that's why I said Crunch is really good. Because you can close combat. I'd rather close combat and then switch to a ghost versus you using it and they switch using high jump kick and you just lose half your health for nothing. Especially because it could be the difference between you surviving or not. They might do a hit and you might barely survive. Whatever. Even if life orb takes you out, whatever. But you survived and you KO them. Another thing that he learns though is nasty plot and swords dance. If you want to do that. The only thing is he's too slow to do it to me. 
and with things like Grimmsnarl and Priority in general, it'll just KO you with the Sash. Uh, I would also run Inner Focus with this just because you don't want to get flinched with a Sash. But Nasty Plot, Swords Dance, if they're there, if they're trying to set up, if they're trying to set up against you and they're slower, they could really work. But I think another good thing, a really good thing you could do is like Agility, they hit you, they break the Sash, whatever. Reversal is really good. Reversal, probably Meteor Mash, and then whatever other move you want. I would say you have to, I would say Meteor Mash is a must, only because, because of Stab, and because of the fact that it hits Fairies, and Fairies resist Reversal, and then probably, honestly, Crunch. I would think Crunch is that last move, and then just Max Health, Max Speed, Adamant. But I think I think this would be really good though if you bring them in on a sweeper on someone and you're faster than like if you bring them in on a sweeper who doesn't have any speed boost so like a bear scooter with no rain or a dragapult with no swords dance or that hasn't used dragon dance or anything and you come in an agility they bring you down to one health reversal has I think 250 base power or something crazy like that crunch comes out crunch crunch for the ghost types and meteor mash for fairy types and stab like this that's actually really good if i think it's really good or if the ghost types or fair or the things that resist fighting are already low health and you bring a sucario in and do that it's really good so i think this Lucario is really good but yeah that, that's 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 pretty much lucario i think he's really good and he can be do a lot of different things depending on what you need and it's very hard for the opponent to figure out what what your card is going to do until he does it